Stop there. Stop. No, I will not. Please forgive me for the last one time, baby. I swear, I will not do it again. No, babe. This is your seventh time. Now, no more reasons. Don't run. Stop there. Please, baby. Mom, I promise, I will not do this again. She said with her puppy eyes while rounding the bed. I said, stop. You got flinched by his saying and quit running. He pulled your hands close and surrounded his arms around your waist firmly. You tried to escape from his hold, however, you can't. He fixed his grasp and pulled you more close to him. Baby, it's paining. Please leave me. You should think before taking and drinking my banana milkshake. And now you need to pay for it, baby girl. I won't think twice when it comes about my milkshake, he said with an evil smirk. With that, he bit your cheeks all the more cruelly. Ah, cookie! You shout out your lungs. Following a couple of moments of biting, when he was fulfilled, he stopped biting. Your right cheeks have a red bite mark. You saw your cheeks in the mirror while still he is back hugging you. You pouted cutely and said, Kukia, don't you love me? Am I important to you or your milkshake? You said with a fake crying face. Without wasting any time, my banana milkshake. Don't try to mess with my milkshake. He said furiously, however, he controlled his chuckling due to your overloaded cuteness. You left the room after pushing him while yelling. I hate you, Kukia. I can't stand you. I hate you totally. I hate you as well. How did she find my milkshake every time when I try to hide it from her? She is more dangerous than my homes. He said, with a dramatic face. You went to the kitchen and took your strawberry milkshake from the fridge and began drinking it. You finished it in a single sip due to your angry. He simply couldn't stand me. He just loved his first wife instead of me. I also hate you Mr. Bunny. I won't talk with you. She said all these while having a poker face. You went to the living room and sat on the sofa. Within 5 minutes, you went to a deep sleep in bedroom. JKPOV I'm waiting for her for an hour, yet she had not come. Thus, I decided to sleep, yet I can't, because I usually sleep while hugging my wife. I stood up from my bed and went out of the room. I went to the living room to see her. She was sleeping calmly like a baby. I went near her. I made a shy and took her in a bridal style. I put her in the bed without disturbing her sleep. And I lay close to her. I catched her hair and kissed her forehead. Baby, I didn't want to scold you. But I loved making fun with you. My cutie, love you. He said. After that, he pecked her lips. She made a delicate groan that made him chuckle. He snuggled his head in her chest and went to a deep sleep while hugging her tightly. Next day morning. You awakened first and rubbed your eyes. You felt arms around your waist and you tilt your head down to see him. He is sleeping like a baby. Oh, my adorable hubby. Cool. Suddenly your face transformed into an angry bird. You pushed him forcefully after remembering the previous night. Ah, Vena, you broke my sweet dreams, he said while closing his eyes. JK got no reaction from you. He woke up and saw a cute devil sitting in front of him with a cute frown. She attempted to look angrily, but after all, her efforts, she made a cute pout that made him a chuckle. JK pecked her powdered lips softly 
However, you didn't answer anything. He was frustrated and said, Weena, mistakes are yours. You drank my banana milkshake without my permission. I told you for the last six times. But last night, that was my last milkshake. And you? Without wasting any time, you stood up from the bed and ran towards him. You hugged him tightly. After sharing the warmth of each other for a few minutes, Kukya, sorry, please don't get mad at your innocent baby na, you said with the puppy eyes. Love you my cute wifey. Love you too Kukya. You are eating popcorn while watching your favorite K-drama. JK went to his office, so you are enjoying your own company. Unexpectedly, your popcorn caught in your throat. You took the bottle next to you, but it was empty. You are unable to breathe well. You stood up from the couch. You went to the kitchen and opened the fridge. You took a bottle and drank it immediately to get relief from struggling. After the popcorn piece enters your stomach, you feel a shy of relief. Unexpectedly, something hit your mind. You saw the bottle in your grasp. Your eyes went wide. Time skips. You heard a car sound and you stood up from the couch with a horrendous face and shaking hands because you know whose car it was. Doorbell rang. Buena. I'm home. But he got hindered without completing his sentence. Welcome home, honey. You said while showing a 32 sparkling tip. Chiki got confused by your unexpected change as you are used to watch your K-drama right now. So he will not disturb you, but today was very surprising. He got diverted from your answer. Kukia, come. You got his office back from his hand and said, Go freshen up and I cooked your favorite dish. He stand in his place in confusion. His brain put in process with the situation. He pushed him towards the steps to freshen up. He went to your shared bedroom while scratching his neck. After 15 minutes, you served him the food and he tasted it. It is so delicious, baby. Ah, really, bunny baby? Do you have any idea why it is so delicious? Ah, uh, thank you for a better answer. He said while enjoying his meal. Yeah, it is so tasty because, because I had a love ingredient. This is called love recipe. Oh. Wena, what has been going on with you today? Why are you so weird? Uh, weird? Not at all like that, Kukia. After you both finished your dinner, you were watching movies with him. Get me some drinks for Yen. He got no reply and turned to see her. She was deep into the scene. He shaked her. Ah, Kukia, go get it by yourself. Don't disturb me. He stood from the couch and went to the kitchen. He opened the fridge and took his milkshake. He was about to close the refrigerator door, but a voice stopped him. Take my milkshake too, she shouted from the living room. Agyo, my cute wifey. With a blushing smile, he took that in another hand. He came and sat beside you. He showed the bottle before your eyes and you got that in your grasp, even without taking a look at him. You began to drink it. He was going to open his milkshake, but it was already open. He was shocked to see the half-emptied bottle. Oyen, mm, did you? You got jumped when you saw the milkshake in his hands. Did you drink my milkshake? Huh? Me? Not. Not me. Then how did it was half unfilled? How did it get half emptied? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I think Kitty drinks that. You said while flickering your eyes multiple times. Oh, really? Kitty drank my milkshake. She went to the kitchen, opened the fridge, took my milkshake from the first rack, and opened it. After that, she drank it. Gee, how talented our Kitty is! You are genius, Kukia. Finally, you found the culprit. Yeah, I found it. Stop showing your teeth. Stop blaming Kitty. I know who drank my milkshake and that is you. You are shocked. Flashback. Unexpectedly, something hit your mind. You saw the bottle in your grasp. Your eyes went white. Oh, 
बनाना मिलते गॉड व्हाट आर आई डू गॉड सेव मी फ्रॉम माय मसल बर्निंग ओके नथिंग सिंपली अकर नाइदर टेक यू नॉट ड्रिंक यू इवन आई डिडंट सी यू सीइंग दैट यू पुट द मिल्क शेक इन द फ्रिज विद नो साइड गॉड सेव मी सेव मी फ्लैशबैक एंड्स यू स्टूड फ्रॉम द काउच एंड वाज गोइंग टू रन but this time he got you before you ran he surrounded his arms around your waist to ensure that you are not escape from him no way not this time yeah i didn't intend to make it happen it was an accident stop please no this time i won't lend my ears to hear those stories oh yeah sorry i will not repeat it you said this last time too darling i warned you get what did you do you are going with it you need to pay for it right now Okay, bye that. You showed your left cheek to him while closing your eyes firmly. He came near your ears and whispered, "Not that much simple baby girl. This time your punishment is too hard." You understood what he said with wide eyes. "No, no, 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 not. Bunny baby, please get ready to see your bunny baby." Saying that, he took you in his shoulder. You are struggling his arm. He went upstairs and threw you in the bed. Few moments later, Kukia, stop, stop! No, no, baby girl. If I leave you, you will repeat it again. Please, Kukia, I can't bear this pain. Tia began to move from your eyes. You are rounding in the bed. My baby girl crying. He said with a cute giggle. He quit tickling you. He hold your paining stomach because of continuous laughing and lost all of your energy. He lay beside you and kissed your hair. With a proud smirk, will you repeat it, Mrs. Chian Chanku? With powdered lips, you shake your head restlessly as no. How was my punishment? He asked with a smirk. Do you wanna feel it? Without wasting any time, you begin tickling him. He has zero control over his laughing. Why now? P- please stop. No, Mr. Jion Jungkook. The room was filled with his laugh and your cute giggle sound.